Hello. Welcome back. My name is Chris. Uh, I live in Christiansburg, Virginia. Uh, the channel's name is Helo's World. Uh, I want to welcome you to this video today. Uh, we always talk about the things that sold uh, this weekend. Um, I'm go also going to uh, taboos and things that most people might not sell. Maybe you would sell. Maybe you wouldn't sell. Um, and it's going to be controversial. It's going to push your buttons a little bit. Uh, I want to thank uh, Disgruntled Octopus. I'm going to put his channel in the description down below. Check out his channel. Uh, I think hours-wise, he has enough to qualify for YouTube, but I think his subscriber count ain't high enough. So please at least give him a subscriber um, punch there. Um, he gave me this hat. He sent it all the way from Australia. I have no idea what it cost him to ship it. But I just appreciate it a thousand times over. You sent me this cap. I don't look as good as you did in this cap, but I'm trying, man. What can I say? But like I said, today we're going to go over taboo type things to sell. And uh, will you sell them or not? Can you sell them on eBay or not? That's to be described. We'll go over a couple solds and we'll go back and forth. If you watch the videos, you kind of know how it works. Sold just no mercy. Um, N64 game. Uh, we got $29.99 plus shipping on that. Uh, this is probably one of the better wrestling games for the N64. Um, but I, I got an N64 while back and some games. This was in it. $29.99 plus shipping. Along the, along the lines of uh, cartridge-based video games. Uh, we sold three different Atari um, 2600 here, all lotted up. We got ET, Pac Man, Asteroids, worst game ever. ET, anyway, 999 plus shipping. This is going international, so it's gone. I won't ever see it again. That's what I'm glad to. So, I want to talk about things maybe people won't sell or people won't deal with that type of thing. We'll go with a couple softball ones quick and then we'll, we'll move up the ladder. All right, first of all, is dumpster dive type items um as you know i do a little bit of dumpster diving i've got some shorts on that type of thing on the channel um if you want to check that type of thing out i by no means have any issue whatsoever selling dumpster dive items items i get out of the dumpster now they will be 100 percent clean they'll smell 100 percent good most of the time the dumpster dive items i deal with is like a bag full of clothes a bag full of video games, a bag full of this, where there's nothing else around it. There's nothing else touching it. This this stuff did not have any issues around it. Um, never, never had one complaint. Never had a return due to smell or condition or anything like that. I always 100% test those items or... Um, if I get something out of the, the, the dumpster dive and it's just, say, like a whole bag of clothes... I'm going to wash those clothes, okay? But I have no problem with selling dumpster dive items. Next item, I'm going to talk about religious items. Now, like I said, we're going to go get controversial. I'm probably going to offend somebody today in this video. Please don't get too offended. If you don't want to sell items, don't sell the items. But religious items, Bibles, crosses. There's also vintage type stuff. But along the lines of Bibles, of course, I don't have a problem selling with Bibles. I, I probably sold Bibles on videos before. Uh, generally, what I look for is large print Bibles, if you don't even know what to look for. Uh, you want to look for the, the tab type Bibles, the ones that tell you the different books of the Bible. Uh, those are uh, highly sought after. Uh, your, like your Schofield uh, Bibles, like they give you more than just the Bible. Um, definitely one of the Bibles, and you won't see it very often. I'm only seeing a couple. Uh, the Mormon, Mormons have a quad Bible. Uh, those sell well. Um, the individual religions also sell better. Well, the Catholic Bibles, I've had a Jewish Bible before. Any of those particular Bibles also sell well. Uh, like I said, crosses and stuff, depending on the thing, you know, they'll sell well too. Uh, religious items do generally sell well, and they sell for good stuff. I'll also tell you another uh, type of Bible that sells well is the Masonic Bible. Uh, the Mason Bible sells well. I've, I've had a few of those, and these have always done well. 
So those are a couple items uh, right there. Most people might consider it a little controversial. And it's up to you to decide what to sell. We're going to dig deeper. I'm going to tell you a couple more solds. I uh, sold this hat here. Ah, this is some minor league team. I don't know right off what it is. But uh, it's a minor league team hat. We got $9 plus shipping. It was an all percent to me. I think I had 11 or 12 on it. Nine. I bought a bunch of hats for 50 cent a piece out of a box. Uh, this is a size hat, seven and three fours. That's a pretty good size head. It fit my big head. I'd say $9 plus shipping uh, on this. It's a minor league team hat. Uh, we sold, if you watch some, I bought some, a bunch of these. Bought 19 in a box of these um, for 20 bucks. Uh, sold this. I get a little over four dollars plus shipping on each one. The fact that the reason why I bought them was because there was nineteen available. It's easy to ship, easy to list, that type of thing. So this is actually where I got the idea for the video. What I'm getting ready to show you now. At the end of this video, there's going to be about two and a half minutes. Uh, I did a really good haul today. I got uh, a vinyl record. A sealed vinyl record for a quarter. Got a signed vinyl record for a quarter. Uh, got just all kinds of stuff for a quarter and 50 cents. Now, what I got in the lot, too, what I bought, and this is, I bought all at the Goodwill. I, I bought a bunch of stuff, and it was less than $13 by the time I got done. But this was in the lot. Now, this is pierced and painted number two. Um, this is about tattoos and uh, piercings and stuff. And uh, it's 50 cents at the Goodwill. The last one that sold, sold for $34.99, free shipping. Now, this is what people would call risque a little bit. Um, mostly, it's going to show you tattooed and pierced stuff, but it does have a warning that, you know, no wonder they're under 18, and it's a mature type of thing. Like I said, it's risque a little bit. Uh, this is okay to sell on eBay. eBay does have some rules on adult-type stuff. Uh, you know... Let your mind think a little bit. That type of stuff's not allowed to sell on eBay. You can sell it at other sites. It's up to you. This is about as far as I will go on selling this type of stuff. Uh, like I say, it's risque. Some people call it risque adult. Um, I find it funny sometimes there are YouTube channels that push family, family, family. But when the time comes, they have no problem selling uh, horror erotic type of VHS. So decide what type of channel you are up front and, you know, but I, I'm not going to hide what I am. This is what, you know, this is going to be listed in the store. I didn't want to tell you different, uh, but, you know, there's going to be a little bit of skin in this type of stuff. Um, you know what I mean by skin in there. Um, you know, any of your VHS, that, like I said, your Halloween, uh, your horror type movies, you know, erotic type VHS, that type of stuff. This stuff like this, they did not make a DVD version of this. Uh, this was put on late at night in your info commercial type times. Um, like I said, not for everybody. If you don't want to sell it, I get you. Now let's dig a little deeper. Since we're digging, man, we're going to dig my whole good racist items. I don't think I have to tell you, don't sell them. Don't list them. Don't be a part of it. Why would you even go there? If you think it's remotely would hurt someone's feelings or something like that, don't sell it. I'm not going to sell it. Don't think that I'll, I'll ever go there. If there's anything that I ever see offensive or anything, I don't buy it, and I have no intentions of reselling the item. All right, so what's the sale of the weekend? Uh, if you watched, I had a little short a while back where I pitched up a bunch of games for $80. This was by far the monster of the pack. This is Pokemon Conquest for Nintendo DS. This is complete. Yes, this is complete. Oh, I mean, I ain't, when I just say complete, I'm talking about it. Complete, complete. This has all the inserts, everything. The Conquest is in there. Uh, everything's complete. We got $100 plus shipping on that. That was the sale of the weekend. We did good. As a matter of fact, as you notice, Video games sold pretty good as a whole. $100 plus shipping on that. We sold Nicholas Nickleby here. Another soundtrack sold out the door. We got $11.75 plus shipping on this soundtrack. Like I say, it just seems like these soundtracks, more money all the time. And I've already made more than double my money. And they're still coming in. So, I thought I was going to drop something there for a minute. You'll have to excuse me. 
So we're still continuing in this hole. I know. You're like, how can you keep on going down this hole? All right. Something sometimes is controversial to people, too, is music. Uh, you got to remember, at one time, uh, Elvis Presley music was considered tools of the devil. So sometimes people get offended by music. Um, there are a lot of um, some bands that even advertise to be in the satanic realm and some other stuff, evil realm. Um, you know, that's going to have to be up to you. The clothing, there's also t-shirts going to be involved. Uh, I find the more satanic it is or more devilish or whatever words you want to use, seems like the more value it seems to hold. Um, so, I, you know, I've, I've seen some crazy money around, but what it is, is those bands are obscure. Uh, the CDs are obscure, the cassettes are obscure, there's very limited amount, and those co uh, those bands have a deep following, so people are willing to pay up. So I'm just going to be honest with you, it'll bring good money to you, the stranger, the weirder it looks, the more money it's worth. Now, I'm going to go even deeper. Political stuff. What do you say on political stuff? Well, let's listen here. I don't care if it's Donald Trump. I don't care if it's Joe Biden. I don't care if it's Eisenhower. I don't care if it's Kennedy. If it sells for money, I'm selling it, okay? I'm not, you know... Let me, let me kind of preface this. This whole thing, this whole reason why I'm going down this hole. And I want to, I wanna, and now if you're all offended and all worked up at this point, and you're wanting to hit the unsubscribe and you're typing, da, 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 da. let me tell you something. I was in Kroger's tonight before I made this video. And I'm going down the aisle there and I see over to the right, there's a big section of alcohol. They sell a big section of alcohol. Nobody says nothing. All right, so you go over to the, um, to um, the, re uh, there's, let's just say the word condoms. Okay, there's condoms over there. Now, that's against some people's religion, too. But right there is a big display, just as big as it can be. Then, you go to the meat section. There's pork. Some people have a problem with pork. But guess what? Kroger still sells that stuff. So, just think about that sometime. When you're starting to get caught up on something, well, I don't like that person. I'm not going to sell it. I don't like that person. I'm not going to sell it. I look at it as money, especially when it comes to politics. I don't have any rules on that. I'm going to sell it. Don't care what side of the item. All right, a couple more listings sold here before I make even more matter. This is a Florida Gators uh, this is a youth jersey. If it looks small, it is small. This is Nike. Uh, this is back to the free days. So I think we got about $14 free shipping on it. It'll be super lightweight. That'll be easy to sell. Sold this Brooks Brothers here. This is an extra large made in the USA. We got about $11 plus shipping out of this. Like I said, it's made in the USA. It's good size, extra large. It's on the taller side. So I always put that in the... Uh, thing that it is on the taller side so we're going to go into a couple more type things um weapons of course 100 percent ebay is not going to let you sell weapons as far as guns and stuff like that now on my own have i sold a couple of guns to a couple of individuals absolutely i have sold a couple of guns to a couple of individuals um, I would definitely tell you to follow your state laws on pine selling guns or anything like that. And, um, you know, make sure that the person you're selling them to, you feel like is an okay person. You know, uh, you don't want something to happen and you go to regret it later on. And finally, the last item, which is 100% illegal to sell. So don't try to sell them. But I do. I've sold. I've seen these items for sale before. I didn't know at the time, and I'm gonna cover quite a bit of them when I say all this. But like police items, uh, badges, and all that type of stuff, don't don't pick them up to resell for some reason. If you see them, uh, any FBI, CIA, anything like that, leave it alone. You will get 
You can get in some trouble. Uh, eBay can definitely shut down your account over that type of stuff. They don't like it. Uh, because people can impersonate uh, certain things. I'm also going to dig a little deeper. Um, and this is something you may hit on because I tried to sell this item. Didn't know nothing about it. I didn't get in trouble with eBay. eBay didn't strike me, strike me down. But they did get me. I tried to sell a FedEx Polo one time. And I wasn't aware that like UPS, uh, UPS the post office, um, FedEx type stuff. You can't, you can't sell that type of stuff. So I just want to go over that. Um, whenever the sales I want to go over that, you know, I know this video wasn't everything anybody's looking for. Okay. But this is, I, I try to touch topics in the, in my type channel that others will leave on the table. And I'm not scared to talk about anything. Okay. Um, you know, I, I do have lines where I draw certain things, but I am into eBay for making money and the reselling business for making money. So I'm just putting that out there. Like I said, I hope I didn't. This I, I'm I'm telling you what the way I feel about certain things, but I'm not looking to offend you, okay? And I hope you don't find this type of stuff offensive. You sell what you feel comfortable with, okay? If you like this type of content, you like a channel that uh, doesn't mind saying certain things to you, give me a like. Uh, comment below. I'm sure I've got your mind twirling at this point. I'm subscribed to the channel. Like I say, there's about two and a half minutes worth of uh, video. I went sourcing today, did really good. Uh, if that type of stuff entertains you, please stay tuned and watch that. Have a good week. And to my U.S. viewers, happy Thanksgiving. Spend time with your family. Just want to go ahead and show you the things I just picked up. Uh, these are pretty good. All clothing except one uh, is a dollar a piece because it's dollar Sunday. But I just want to show you what I have picked up. That's new sealed. Remember, all clothes are a dollar except one.